G'day guys, how's it going? All right, so we're doing that tent review. Two tents, so the Hauqua 2 and the Hauqua 3. Now, first up, for people that don't know me, um, I do sell this, not, I do sell these tents uh, on uh, www.bikerbits.com.au. Now, I've got a long association with this style of tent, or this actual tent. I bought it uh, 10 years. I've, I've got the same tent, I've had it for 10 years, and it was branded, uh, I think it was, I'll put it up there, Hue and Light DH, DMH, or something like that. Uh, that went away, another crowd picked up Managum, uh, which is based in Melbourne, and they just changed the logo on it, basically, and the colors, and that's when we started selling the tent, because I liked this tent so much. And then Managum <laughs> buddy decided to close up shop, and we couldn't sell it anymore. And then we found another supplier that has picked up this tent again. It just keeps getting bloody relived. But they've made a few little changes. I think the, the rear end, as we see it, is, is raised up. I'll tell you about it anyway. All right, I've just I've brought the two tents out here. I've also brought the Helinox cot just so that we can see that in the tent and how much room that it takes up. Let's get them out. Right, yeah, guys, so here we go. That is the Hauqua 2 and the Hauqua 3. Now this is, uh, manufacturer says 2.3 kilograms in weight. I've weighted it, it's actually 2.6, we mentioned that on the website. And the Hauqua 3 is, the manufacturer says 3.1 kilograms, it's actually 3.3 kilograms. So let me just, just grab just the Hauqua 2. So, Lengthwise, when this is packed up now, these two tents, I've actually unpacked them from their from the manufacturer and put them in the backyard and took some photos for the bloody website. And I've repacked them up. So, uh, 44 centimetres long, and the diameter across there is 16 centimetres. The Halka 3, so it is 46 long, and the diameter is 18. So, still pretty bloody close together, you can, you can feel the difference in weight, but when you look at them, like, there's not a huge amount of uh, difference in it. In actual fact, at the moment, the Hauka 3 <laughs> looks a little bit longer, but it's not. All right, so, oh, you're right. Um, what I'm gonna do, so the Hauka 3, I'm gonna just go and set that up, and then I'll show you me setting up the Hauka 2. These two tents are totally identical everything exactly the same. The only difference is the size and obviously weight. All right, let's go and pack this up. How's that, eh? All right, let's go up and have a look. Rightio, guys, so there it is. That is it, basically all fully set up. The beauty with these tents is that you don't need any guy ropes. It's just done with pegs. Unlike that gun you one, you do need to have four pegs put in before the inner tent gets erected. Um, but apart from that, so if it's wind or I reckon even snow, this would really work well in snow. I have no idea. Uh, the can I, I don't know. You snow people that obviously live in those areas, tell me what you would what you think. But <clears throat> All season. So that outer outer tent has its own pegs, uh, or the fly, to go over. So you have the inner tents in, but that fly goes so far past. So if you've got rain and wind and rain, which is always the killer, is the wind and the rain, it always gets in and under and all that kind of stuff. With this these tents, you don't get that. The gun you won, I reckon you would get it. So I'll just pull up those sides. So the two, this has two vestibules with two doors on either entrance, and I reckon we could nearly have a party in there. Right, yeah, so that's it with the two vestibules up, or the, the door flaps. I always see a dragon's head when I do that. Can you see the dragon's head? <laughs> I reckon it's pretty cool. So from a point of like ventilation, really, really good. You have these uh, ventilation, see how you have that little thing there? They pop up, so you've got ventilation through there when you're all locked in there. So door on this side, 
and then around on this side, another door. So it doesn't matter where you are or if you've got two people in there or whatever. So you see how, I don't know if you can see, how you've got the really wide, everything's way off. Now I was saying when I got that Gunyal 110, I was hoping that the, up, the, 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 the clips and buckles and system that it had, um, that these would have it, but they don't. They still have the toggles. And as I said, anybody knows working with toggles at night time is a bloody pain in the ass. So they still have that. So the main feature that they've changed is the color, but this end here, they've actually increased the height. It used to be lower. So I think that is an absolute bonus, and I don't think it affects its, um, what do you call it, like in the wind, it's not really high, so I think the wind will just glide, and what it normally does is it just glides around this tent. So you don't have the, the, you know, the inner, inner parts kind of like blowing in on you, if you've ever been in that situation. All right, let's open her up. Uh, the other new thing, that they have these tensioning um, straps. They're kind of like whatever. Um, these little bloody glowy greeny things for your zippers. But that's about it for the change. And there you go, look at that. That is huge. So, pocket over there and a pocket over there, that is still the same. You've got nice high walls for your, I'll call it the bathtub, because that's what I said last time. Righto guys, so I've got the Helinox cot. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm six foot. I don't know how tall this, uh... it's taller than me. All right, let's just get it in the bloody tent. Uh... Righto, so as you saw, Straight in, no problems, as you can see, like the amount of room that this gives you, and like, oh, it's hard to see. I'll sit in it, oh, bloody lie on it. Righty, eh, so, I suppose you should, oh, sitting on, sitting on top of this, I've got heaps of room. Well, about, about there is where I start to touch. Lying on this, so I would be down a little bit like this. I've got heaps of room over here, and like I can't even reach to the to the top to there. So this uh, really has a lot of room. If it, these, this is for really you know for big blokes, or if you if you're going two up. Um, perfect. There's, you could get two, and I've tried this, we tested that, you can get two of these um, in here like that, no worries at all. You've got room at the, at the bottom there for your gear, you've got bloody room up the back there, and then you've got a bit of room on the side here. And then, you've got the vestibule when these, let's do that. Oh yeah, just pull that down, <laughs> zip that down like that. And then you can see, you know, you've got a fair amount of uh, room in there. I'll put my hand in there. Um, and most probably if I pulled this a little bit more torter, uh, you'd have a bit more room. But yeah, heaps for your vegetable. And that's the same on both, uh, both, both sides. So there you go, guys. That's me sitting on the ground. I don't know how, woo, oh, oh, all the way up to there. Like that's huge, massive amounts of room. So, great for uh, someone on a motorbike that is, uh, you know, over six foot, built like a brick shit house, needs his bloody room, or going two up. And uh, either way you go, you'll, you'll get all the gear in here and, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now what you can do is watch me, if you're still with me, uh, watch me set up. I'll show you the process of setting up that uh, the number two. Cool. Righty, hey guys. <laughs> Forgot to turn the bloody camera on. I've already pulled the tent out. It started raining. All right, so it comes in that stuff sack. It's not a compression. T uh, it is a bit of a compression, but anyway. So you got that um, bag of bloody uh, pegs, poles, outer fly, and which I was just starting to set up the inner tent. 
And of course, I've brought my trusty lightweight uh, hammer there, specially designed. <laughs> All right, so just grab the inner tent. Whoa! Work out, so that's the ground sloping down that way, so I want me head up this end. Just lay it out there like that. Grab four pegs, because that's all we need for the inner tent. So, geez, he's getting wild and woolly. Now, it comes with a uh, emergency repair thing for if one of these was to bend or bust. Slip that over it. Temporary fix. So, there's two poles. A large one and a small one. And I must admit, because they've increased that uh, the smaller size, Oh, this uh, this one's not as small as what it used to be. Just like that. Two poles. There's a little seam there that you just feed that through. Lock that in there. So obviously if it's raining, you kind of like bug it because it's not a tent that you can have the outer fly on to stop. Oh, what am I doing? You gotta feed it through there, Mark, you bloody idiot. That's done. You've got two clips over here on either side. Brings that out. And booyah! That's the inner part done. So now we'll uh, throw the fly over. Righto, now we're bloody safe. Stop panicking, Mark. All right. The rest of these are... Uh... Now, sometimes I use, with the fly, I use the existing um, pegs, uh, but you can use the other ones so it brings it way off the inner tent. So if it's gonna be wet like this, you'd both probably do that. Ground's full of rocks. And I don't know if you can see that. This is where you can use the existing ones to pull it over. In actual fact, it's gonna work for that one. There you go, it'll work for that one as well. Let's brought it out. So I just got two, two on the back. All my stuff's blown away. There you go guys, that is basically it. So obviously you can adjust, like the peg way over there is way up high, you can bring it down, but that's good for, like if it's hot and you wanna close it up a bit, cause it's raining or whatever, 
you just have those pegs up high so you can get nice ventilation going through there. Rightio, so look, that's the uh, the loops on there. I've never, on the original tent that I've got, they have never failed. Obviously on this smaller tent, which is what I do with my other one, because it's a, it's a two-man as well, this can run off those ones. But on that bigger tent, it seems that you need the extra pegs for that fly to come out. So that's basically it there. Um, you have the, the one in the middle and then the two existing ones for the inner tent. I've just looped the fly ones over that. And that's pretty bloody good. Same deal with this one. It's all exactly the same. Rightio, so now I know through experience I go in through the, that way I think. No, wrong. <laughs> so this one obviously doesn't go in like the other one. There we go, done. Rightio, so, oh that's right, sitting. I don't know if you can see that, but there's headroom there, but only about there, then it starts hitting your head, the top of it. Oh, ah. Beautiful, exactly how I know it. I can just tell now from my original tent that I've just got higher um, elevation at the back, but I'll bring you in. Right, eh? So there you, whoop, there you go. There's the, whoop, there, there's the top. Boom. So plenty of room, and I'm sitting on top of the Halinox cot. And then if I lie down, hopefully, there you go. So my feet, there you go. Boom. Whereas before, I reckon my foot could go about to there on the old tent, but now you've got that extra room which means you can stick gear down the back there so you can see oh, you've got room there and then hopefully you can see that you've got room at, at the uh, at the back there and then of course the beauty of the, the two-man tent which is what I always liked is you've got all that room all in here which is where you know I stick my helmet and my tank bag and uh, my riding gear down there um, and then with the fly, with the uh, fly we just take these little bloody toggle things off. It's daylight so they're easy to use. <laughs> Pull down the fly. And then, oh. sorry guys you're getting a bit wet there. Geez I tell you as soon as that uh, little bloody storm came, the, uh, it, it just, it's gone. Look, you can see the bloody sun shining. Right, eh, so, I would nearly say that the vestibule area is pretty comparable with the, with that big one. So, yeah. Well, where's the edge? There's the edge. So, my hands out through there. Oh, that's, so you've got a lot of, a lot of area for putting your boots and, and like what I like to do, um, is I have me cooking bloody uh, gear there ready to make a coffee in the morning so I don't even have to get out of the bloody tent although I must admit I normally get out of the bloody tent to go pee oh, Rightio guys so there that's it that's the Hauqua 2 and the Hauqua 3 it's cup of time I reckon I've earned it so I've got some measurements I'll bloody read out boys so I mean, there's, there's so many great tents out there on the market now. I just know that this tent really works well for me and with motor, you know, riding motorbikes, whether I'm on the Cruiser or whether I'm on you know, the DR650 and even obviously the Posty bike. Um, you know, this style of tent has just served me so well. Never had problem in high wind, never had problem with rain or leaks or anything like that. And then obviously, you know, with those hot nights, um, heaps of ventilation, you don't get you know uh, the condensation, you don't get that bloody problem. Yeah, you know, obviously you'll get condensation at times, you know those heavy nights, but it's all on the fly. It's never in the tent, and you never like you can't actually touch it because the inner tent holds you separate from it. Oh yeah, bloody good stuff. All right, so let's. Not muck around. So the Hauqua 2, which is this one here, 
Um, it's 200, th now this is the inner tent part, not the outer part. So the inner part, which is the most important because that's where you've got to fit in. So the length is 255 centimetres. The width is 60 centimetres, 132 centimetres and 90 centimetres. And what that means is at the small end, it's 60 uh, centimetres across. In the middle, it's the 132. And at the, the head area, it's um, 90 centimetres. Now, inside the, the height part, and that's at the tallest part, it's 105 centimetres. I've measured all that stuff and it's, it's, it's all correct. You know what the weight is, it's two point, well, the actual weight is 2.6 kilograms in total. Um, the pack down size is 44 centimetres long by 16 centimetres in diameter. And yeah. All right, so the Hauqua 3, the big bad bastard up over there. So it is 280 centimetres lengthwise. Um, it's 125 at the small end, 197 centimetres in the middle across, and 155 centimetres up at your head area. And it's actually 115 centimetres tall. As you saw, there's just heaps and heaps of room. Actual size uh, weight is 3.3 kilograms, and it's packed down size 46 centimetres long and 18 centimetre diameter. Booyah! That's it, that's done. So I highly recommend it. As I said at the start, I do sell this, so I am, you have to call me bias. Um, but the blokes that know me, you know, I'm not, I'm not out to bullshit. This is the only tent, the only, oh, these two is the only tents that we've ever sold. And now we've got that Gunya one, which is a single one. Um, I just really like them, that's why we sell them. We're not, we're not a tent seller. I'm not just gonna go and buy tents just for the sake of selling them. Um, I believe, yeah, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, look at the bloody sun coming out, would you? Crazy. Well, that was, oh, I suppose it was pretty good. Not a bad little area out here. Right, hey guys, you know, what, you know what happens next? Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.